George, how you doing today? Saquon Jones with the Boxing Voice. How's everything going with you? Everything's good, thank you. Yo, you know what? I like to first apologize. I was a little nervous about coming up to you because I didn't know if you spoke English or not. <laughs> so when I found, I had to like I had to go behind your back and ask like everybody if you did. So I apologize for that. Because that's a good thing. Um, we got a big test coming up this weekend. Um, I've seen Jared Anderson. Everybody's talking about him. A win, to, a win could really upset the apple cart. Um, if, when you win, or if you win, like, what, 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 would you, what would that feel like for you? Uh, as a, such a heavy underdog today, you know? Uh, right, you know? You can hear me? Yeah, okay. That's right. No, yeah, uh, a win, uh, the win that I'm uh, hoping for coming on Saturday is going to be humongous because this guy's like the believed to be the, the new face of the heavyweight division, you know, and I'm not necessarily a highly regarded uh, prospect. In my, in my opinion, I don't think I'm that highly regarded, so it'll be very, very upsetting, you know, very, very upsetting. And this guy has all, he got everything behind him. So yeah, yeah, I'm very, very uh, excited about the possibility of upsetting him. As a former fighter myself, like, people don't ever think that the other man has things to do too. Like, the other man has goals. The other man has a family to feed. The other man wants to be champion. You know, uh, talk about how your hunger is going, you know, un overlooked. You know, just because, you know, he's, because he's him. Um, how does that make you, you know, feel in terms of how they're overlooking you and your dreams and your hopes and your goals? Well, particularly, like, for example, uh, in my experience, I have not been able to ever overlook anybody. Yeah. yeah so, you know, it must be and I, like, it must be an honor to be able to look at another man with two hands and be able to downplay his abilities to hurt you, you know? Yeah. Uh, but I train to the best of my abilities. I understand that I also have, you know, my own career. I am uh, undefeated as well, meaning that I've... I've had to fight a couple of really tough opponents myself as well. The only difference in my opinion uh, between me and him as far as uh, getting in the ring is that he has, I guess, a better highlight reel. Mm -hmm. But uh, I believe I'm confident in my boxing abilities and I'm confident in my uh, the game plan. And I'm excited to get in there. You know, it's a really good opportunity to show that uh, not, not perhaps not with a knockout, you know, but with the boxing abilities themselves, I think that I could be in another level. There's going to be a huge Latin presence at, at the fight Saturday, uh, especially with Shakur being, you know, half Puerto Rican. There's going to Latins are very well represented in Jersey throughout the state. Um, anything you want to say to to your to your, to, your, to your fans um, before Saturday? Go to my fans. Uh, mm -hmm. Especially in a, fight, in a fight like this, I know that if you're a fan of mine, you're a real fan, because <laughs> I'm, I'm the underdog. So thank you genuinely from the bottom of my heart. I genuinely appreciate it, and I, you know, very, very excited to put on a show for you guys. Y para la gente, los dominicanos, los hispanos, muchas gracias por el apoyo. Yo sé que en esta yo soy la hembra, entonces el apoyo que me están dando ahora mismo se lo agradezco de corazón. Muchas gracias. What up, YouTube family? Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.